the international guests here at ITB. Um, so I'm going to let you guys settle because we have in and out here, but uh, maybe just a short introduction. So uh, my name is Torsten. I'm a co-founder at Customer Alliance, and we are a startup company from Berlin. Uh, we've grown in a couple of years from uh, two co-founders to almost 100 team members, helping businesses to control um, their reputation online. And today, the presentation will be about my generation, uh, talking about the three key, key digital uh, influencers. I was born in uh, 1985, and this is my generation, the millennials. Uh, I have friends, they walk over the street like this, they almost get hit by a car because they're always on their mobile phone. And um, looking at uh, the presentation today, what is really important is how can we prepare the business or our business for the world of e-travel, online travel? Um, who are the users of e-travel and how and why do they use it? We're also going to look into the three widely accepted demographics, so the baby boomers, uh, Gen X and the Millennials, so in this case my generation, and also the impact of the three digital key influencers, online reviews, social media and brand websites. The elephant in the room, having a look at that and also what does the customer journey look like today, as well as some actionable takeaways for uh, your business and uh, how you can uh, profit from uh, these key digital trends. Baby boomers, Gen X and millennials, a widely accepted demographic. And um, as I just said, so I was born in 1985. Um, I'm a digital native. I'm an early tech adopter. Uh, we are also ethical consumers. And um, yeah, we're worth $180 billion in travel, right? So quite nice. Maybe just a short survey. Who is a millennial here? Maybe just raise your hand. Great. Let's go to Gen X, uh, born between 1965 and 1984, uh, middle income, adults, and uh, dawn of the internet age. Who is a Gen X here? Very good. And baby boomers, very affluent, financially solvent people, um, mid to late tech adopters, right? Um, but also traveling across the world. So who is a baby boomer here? Maybe just raise your hand. You made our generation great, thanks. <laughs> so one key digital influencer is obviously uh, online reviews. We have uh, heard about online reviews across um, yeah, multiple presentations already today. And um, I think every one of you has already read an online review. 78% of the millennials uh, find online reviews uh, quite important. Uh, more than two-thirds of millennials would always uh, also ask their friends for recommendations on where to go and also are consulting online reviews on a regular basis. Gen X and also baby boomers are also finding online reviews very, very important and are using this when they buy products, services, hotels, travel products, uh, they do research on destinations, um, one of really the key influencers. Huh? So actually 50% of uh, consumers would not even purchase a product or a service or a hotel if it has no reviews or if it has bad reviews. Um, so all three demographics uh, value online reviews, um, but do they actually also write reviews? Right? So we're good at consuming reviews, but do we also share our experience? What is quite interesting that you can see that millennials, so in this case 49%, um, have already uh, shared their experiences online. 43% of the Generation X and also 32% of the baby boomers are, have also already shared um, reviews online and publicly, um, publicly also said this is a great brand. Right. But if you look at also the complaints, 33% yeah, of the millennials have already publicly also complained about a brand. Yeah? So it's not only the positive uh, reviews, but also some of the negative stories that are out there. 
We also did an analysis, um, so we're working with around uh, 5,000 uh, properties and businesses across Europe, and uh, we're looking at who, how are the number of reviews developing in these different uh, age groups and demographics, right? And you can see, and that's, I think, very interesting, that millennials, Generation X, and baby boomers have grown the number of reviews um, across channels, right? Even if you look at Gen X and baby boomers, quite a big uh, growth in number of reviews that they are writing about businesses online. It's, uh, it's we are very evident that reviews are becoming a very, very important purchasing and decision-making factor for uh, services and uh, products uh, around. And especially in the travel industry, where we have a very intangible product, it's hard to grasp. The experience can be different. So we really are seeking for the experience of others. What are others saying about the property, the service, you know, uh, the whole travel experience? Um, what is also quite interesting that you can see that businesses actually who manage their reviews very professionally can also uh, yeah, develop very positively in terms of pricing, right? So on average, if you can increase your review score by one point on a five-point scale, you can increase your uh, pricing by 11% without losing occupancy or market share. Yeah? So obviously people are also willing to pay higher prices for better service. We have, a, we have a customer, I will come uh, uh, tell you about it in, uh, in just a minute. Uh, they, they are here in Berlin and, um, and they have really climbed the rankings on TripAdvisor and I'm going to show you later in the customer journey how they did that. Social media. Um, who has ever posted a travel picture on social media? So a picture from your trip. Everybody. Who has uh, logged into the Wi-Fi of a hotel and posted a, pic a picture of their hotel that they have stayed at? Maybe just raise your hand. Okay, also quite a few. So you're the professional marketers of travel businesses, right? Because that's how we as uh, millennials also want to uh, consume information. So we don't, we don't trust in um, TV advertising, radio, radio advertising, or any other traditional form of advertising. We want to hear what do our friends recommend. Huh? And this is mainly happening on social media. Um, so looking at the uh, different social media uh, channels and groups, so obviously Facebook, uh, Instagram, yeah, Snapchat is becoming more important. Um, they, we don't necessarily see clear boundaries between traditional advertising and our um, shares that we're doing on Facebook and co. Right? <laughs> what is important for us is that we can share our experiences and that we can read what our friends are saying on the different uh, social media channels. I had a friend who traveled to uh, Vietnam uh, a long time ago, and uh, when he was uh, traveling there, he shared a picture of this really nice infinity pool with a view over the ocean, and I was like, wow, that's awesome, right? That's really nice, I saw it on Facebook. What happened? Actually, me and another friend traveled to exact the same location based on the picture and the story that he told us about his trip on uh, uh, Facebook, right? So the picture that this uh, friend took really motivated us to actually check out this hotel and visit the destination Vietnam that we've never been to before. Brand website. Brand website is becoming uh, more and more important. Yeah? Here you can see that uh, you should really carefully um, yeah, curate the content that is on your website and also the devices that it works you know, for our mobile phone that so when we are walking over the street we don't get hit by the car because we cannot read your website. Yeah? Um, Millennials, as well as Gen X and baby boomers, uh, find it quite important to, um, to visit the brand website, to get additional information next to the standard information that is available on online travel agents and other portals, um, as well as having uh, in-depth uh, understanding of what your business is about. Right? So investing into your brand web website will be uh, very important, especially on mobile, right? so that we can also access it on your phone. Um, 
And integrating uh, reviews on your website is very important because that also increases the trust of, um, of your business as well as the conversion rate of your business, right? So we see on average 20% uh, more conversion rates, 20% more bookings of businesses that integrate uh, customer reviews on their hotel's website or on their business's website um, than hotels and businesses that don't integrate reviews into their strategy and also on their brand's website. Yeah? So that would be, I think, also a very important takeaway from uh, the brand's website. So let's have a look as an, as an example. The elephant in the, let's call it hotel room, Airbnb, we just have talked about it. Um, uh, according to Skift, millennials, for example, uh, we prefer actually traditional hotels and hostels over Airbnb, right? And I found it actually quite an interesting finding because obviously when we do our travel research, we watch TV and I'm always on my mobile while I'm watching TV. On average, I look at 22 different websites. You know, I go to booking.com, then I look at some TV, then I get bored, then I look at maybe Airbnb, I get bored, I check my phone, then I look on uh, hostelworlds.com, get bored, ch uh, watch TV. So on average, I look at 22 different websites. But I often, and, that, and that's I think the main difference between Airbnb and traditional hotels, I often choose a hotel, I also have chosen Airbnbs, right? But I often have chosen a hotel because of the service, because of the accessibility, because it's easy to use, uh, because I can check in any time, right? So having these advantages of a professional business. On the other hand, I also like uh, Airbnb quite a lot because it gives me this local feeling. But there are so many great independent hotels out there, independent properties that exactly can uh, simulate also this local feeling that I'm searching for as a millennial, right? I want the authentic experience. I want to meet locals. I want to understand how, uh, how the culture works. I want to eat their food, you know? I want to have their recommendations. And more and more hotels are actually understanding how important that is, yeah? So some reasons why, for example, we're not using uh, Airbnb. Um, Airbnb has become quite big. Yeah? Today they just announced a new funding round of 1 billion euros at evaluation of 33 billion euros. That's apparently the current value of Airbnb. Um, yeah, it's basically also um, a gentrification problem that because we are ethical um, travelers, right, we don't always want to support that on, uh, on a gentrification side. Um, and then also many European governments are uh, passing legislations to uh, curb short-term short -term rentals, right? But Airbnb is also so successful, right? Because it's great, relevant, value-adding content on their website, right? I have a very seamless user experience. Uh, they have customer reviews integrated everywhere. Um, I have direct access to the property owner, and they just have a very great customer experience. Huh? And so, what can we learn from Airbnb? Basically, emulating what Airbnb does well already. So making digitalizing or digitizing your business a key strategic goal. So the recommendation would be create a seamless and an intuitive user experience also on your website. Because when I visit my 22 different travel websites, I always also visit the website of a brand, right? Make it mobile accessible because I don't want to sit at my TV uh, on my mobile phone and having to zoom into your website to understand what you guys are offering, right? Also very important. Um, show off great images and copy. We love great images. We love nice text about your property. We love the stories that you can tell about the business that you have, right? Integrate and manage reviews, a very important aspect as well, right? To increase conversion rates and increase your bookings. And yeah, also add a user-friendly booking engine so it's easy to purchase your product. So looking at the customer journey, how do customers and millennials actually book? So meet Toby the traveler, he's 31 years old, 
He's a backpacker when he's traveling and a businessman when he's working. So as said, when searching for a hotel, for example, I want to know as a millennial, what is the best reputation or the best value I can get from my budget, right? So when I travel, usually that's the filters I'm working with. I'm looking at my budget, which is maybe I'm not willing to spend more than 100 euros per night and not less than 80 euros per night. And when, within my budget, I want to have the best deal and the best quality. So I look at the different websites, Expedia, HolidayCheck, Booking.com, Airbnb, and, um, and filter by property quality, by property price, and I look at the images while I'm on my couch watching TV yeah, to, um, to find the best deal um, that I want. And in this process, and that's what I call the research phase, I also always go into the decision phase. And the decision phase is where I am actually visiting the brand's website. So I'm going to the brand's website to really understand what additional benefits can they offer. Do they maybe even offer a better price than if I book through an online travel agent, right? Can I get more information which I don't find on standard portal information, right? And, um, and here it's also important that you show off like the total score of your reviews that you have to also again increase your conversion rate and direct bookings. Then before I arrive and when I make a decision, um, I also want to be informed by you as a business about how do I get to your place. I want an email in my uh, cell phone, right? Send me an email, how do I get to your place, right? I want an email with recommendations of what are the best local restaurants around your business, right? What are the tours that I can take? So the pre-stay communication is very, very important um, because that makes me really feel welcome also uh, to, your, to your business. And then during the stay, here the goal is obviously to basically improve the service, right? So we have customers that basically ask, ask their guests during the stay via SMS, email, or even through the Wi-Fi to give them feedback on how they like it at the property, right? One simple question, do you like it, yes or no? And if no, what can we do better? This really helps, A, the customer to feel really appreciated, B, to also at the end get better review scores um, at the end, right? That's post day. So asking the customers to actually recommend you. Yeah? Ask your guests to recommend you via um, Facebook, TripAdvisor, Google, your own website, Holiday Check, uh, any portal that is out there. Um, because that can significantly improve your rankings and therefore also increase uh, the number of uh, bookings you get in the future. And here I come back to the story that I wanted to tell you in the beginning. So in Berlin, the top 10 hotels, right, 40% are our customers. And what do, what do they do differently? Basically what they do is they, first of all, do the whole process, so they collect reviews pre, during and post day. So they really increase the frequency and number of recommendations that they get from their guests. Um, and they actually work on the quality, right? So they see, I had a talk with a general manager and said, hey, Torsten, I want to get under the top 10 on TripAdvisor. How do I do that, right? And I said, well, you're collecting already quite a lot of reviews. That's quite good. You're act proactively collecting reviews here. But what you actually have to do is you have to work on your breakfast because every second review is complaining about the quality of your breakfast. So what he did is he called um, the breakfast guy. They changed the breakfast design and the presentation. And within four weeks, they grew to be uh, with two properties under the top 10 of hotels in Berlin. And um, so now I think almost 40% uh, of the uh, of our customers are under the top 10 in Berlin because they really actively collected reviews during stay, post stay, and um, yeah, increased their uh, or improved their service. Yeah? So use all the channels that you have. Use email. Here on email, you would get on average 25% return rate from your guest recommending you. Um, use Wi Fi. Wi Fi is a very nice. Um, uh, feedback collection system. So always when a guest logs into your Wi-Fi, you can ask him for a feedback or a recommendation. 
Um, yeah, and, and also ask them to share their reviews on Facebook, right? Ask them to share their reviews on uh, Instagram or on any other social media site. Because every guest that will share their experience to their 200, 300, sometimes 1,000 friends on social media is a brand ambassador and a marketing ambassador for your business. There's no way you can get better uh, marketing dollars out there for free. So when understanding the customer journey, you have uh, control over uh, more reviews and also your bookings across the internet. And uh, that will ultimately help you to have uh, better service and more bookings. So here we come to our uh, actionable takeaways. Yeah. Number one, make online reviews central to your marketing strategy. Yeah. Everybody's managing price. How many people are managing quality? Yeah. Manage the quality and automatically you will get better reviews. But you also have to proactively ask your guest to yeah, write a review and a recommendation. Provide a convenient process for leaving a recommendation and a review at your business. Yeah? As mentioned, can be on, on Wi-Fi, can be via email, can be on a tablet. Um, whatever reason or whatever channel you choose, yeah, be creative. Try to get recommendations from your businesses or from your customers. We have, uh, we have actually uh, hotels that are not doing any direct sales anymore, but they're improving their uh, revenues by plus 20% just by getting more recommendations and reviews from their guests. Yeah? It's a very nice and simple way to improve your business. Number three, remain true and authentic to your brand and service. Yeah? So really uh, understand what customers want, what is their um, need, why are they actually coming to you. Maybe also if you notice that you're getting really bad reviews from baby boomers, but really good reviews from millennials or vice versa, yeah, focus on this group. Yeah? Who is the perfect guest for your property? Maybe you don't have to service all the guests, right? Maybe you just have to be really good at serving baby boomers, or maybe you just have to be very good at serving millennials, or maybe you just have to be really good at servicing business guests. Yeah? So look at what is the perfect target group, and you will also get more business from that group, as well as better reviews. Number four, take advantage of social media recommendations. So really ask your customers to share their experiences with their friends on different social media channels to get a viral effect on recommendations, to get the people and the guests to share your story and your business across multiple channels. And integrate reviews also on your website. Curate your website, right? Increase the conversion rate and the booking rate on your website to, uh, to take full advantage of online reviews and social media. If you do that, here's a little case study. Um, this business has integrated reviews on their website, and you could see almost a 3,700% return on investment by having higher conversion rates and more direct bookings. Yeah? Really, really nice example of how a simple change on your website in terms of usability can drastically improve your business. Yeah? So they're making almost a, a million, uh, million uh, on revenue through their own website. Huh? So thank you very much, and uh, I hope you can uh, profit from this. Thank you.